All right, hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, we are actually going to place the body, the center body on the Superlight Coupe chassis and also place the front clam, which is the nose, in place so we could see if it clears the radiator and also the mocked up radiator shroud that I put together here. Okay, so you can see that there's some, there's some holes here. Uh, these are meant to attach the radiator, but because I had to generate some clearance between the radiator shroud and the master cylinder, uh, you can see that this is pushed forward by about an inch. So I just wanna make sure that the front clamp clears this, and if it does clear it, then I know I can you know, take this design of the fan shroud and have it, you know, take that uh, wizard cooling kit and then assemble the, you know, assemble the fan shroud and, and, and get it permanently attached to the front compartment. Okay, so that's what we will be covering in this video. All right, well, we're on location at the Joel K garage. Here's a unique view of the rear of the uh, Superlight Coupe chassis. Uh, here's the body buck. So we're got, gonna actually roll the body buck outside so we can uh, then carry the center section called the spider and place it on the chassis. So I, you know, I, I measured everything. It's supposed to fit underneath the garage door when I built it, but who knows? It looks like it's gonna be really close. So we'll see in a minute. All right, a little work in process here. We got the doors and the nose sitting on the lawn. We're going to take that rear clam off and then uh, my son and I, we're going to carry the, the spider over and, and attach it to the, to the chassis and we'll see how well those wheels, the wheels line up in the wheel wells. We got the uh, spider on the Superlight Coupe chassis and a couple initial observations. Most positive, one a little concerning, but you know, it's just nice to see these wheels really lining up. Uh, it looks like to get that wheel perfectly centered, you know, relative to the body, maybe we, we, we lower the rear ride height by about a quarter inch. And that really fits, uh, you know, relatively well in the, in the wheel well there. The fronts also look really good. It, it also looks like I could raise the ride height just a tad and those wheels will look good. Uh, in the wheel well. What I'm concerned about is this is at zero toe and I've got almost an inch. These tires are poking out almost an inch and I know once I lean them over with camber the tops of the wheels will get tucked in about a half an inch so you know I wasn't planning on sort of adding fender spats on the front like a Corvette Z06 or do some extra body work but I don't know. I'll have to call the factory and see, but you know, look at the way the the wheel well gaps are. And this was the whole point of those anti-droop rods, so I can see how the wheels will align in the body uh, right away. So I would say right off the bat, I mean, this body fits unbelievably well, except, you know, for these monster front tires. And these are the recommended size of the front tires and, and I do know other builders use a little narrower tire and that may help but those narrow tires are a half inch narrower total so on one side it would only be a quarter inch uh, but we'll see you know once I get some camber on the front we'll, we'll see how it how it looks with the front clam on but the point of this video is really uh, we're going to fit the front clam after we secure the uh, spider, and we'll see if that front clam clears the the radiator and the radiator shroud. So, all I did was put some shims in the front, the front shoulders, and also some shims in the rear shoulder to hold the body up. And you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm really happy with the way this fits. You know, that front. Uh, you know, that front tire fitment, we'll figure it out. Uh, but all in all, it's looking great. And one last thing before I, I 
put the doors back on. You know, this is the fitment with the interior tub, and the interior tub you see has this ridge, and Superlight cuts all this out for you. And it's designed so that this body fits right into the ridge. And that sort of centers the body. I mean, the body really is very well centered. And, you know, I haven't done anything yet. So it's a pretty cool design. That, that interior tub really helps position the body the right way. And the body left to right is perfect. So, uh, so not a lot of work will have to be done with regard to with regard to centering the body. Now I can focus on on the fan shroud so you can see my little mocked up shroud with the uh, drop in, the cardboard dropped in fans there. So that's next. We're gonna put the nose on the car and we'll see if it clears that fan shroud. Okay, well, before we button up the uh, cockpit here and put the door on, I got the dashboard back in and you know, this thing is just beautifully centered in the center binnacle. So I got that slight angle that we talked about with the pedals, the seat, and the steering column. And, you know, it really lines up well. So all in all, this thing fits great. Great job. Great job, RCR. You guys did a great job designing this body and all the interior panels. All right, we'll add one more short segment here. So this is a little shout out to the easy car lift. So this black uh, Rubbermaid tub is going to hold the, the front nose on. So I've got to lower the car to get it to the right height so we can have that front nose level. So the easy car lift is infinitely adjustable so I'll lower it down and we'll get it right and then we'll put the nose on. All right well we got the nose on the car and in the next segue uh, we'll duck underneath the nose and see uh, how much room, if any, we have between the fan shroud and the nose. You know, the angle of the fan shroud matches uh, 20 degrees, which is the slope of the nose. So that's what I try to do. Let's see, a couple comments here. I mean, another shout out to RCR. I mean, look at, the, look at these body gaps. I mean, these look great. You know, I haven't adjusted anything on this body. The doors fit great. You know, the wheel wells, the wheel wells, you know, are, are really good considering I, I haven't even fussed with them yet. All the door gaps and it's the same on the other side. I will say though that body buck in my opinion is a must. Uh, it really helped flatten these seams out over time. You know, look at this. You know, they just look great. I mean, this body fits perfect. So anyway, let's take a duck under the nose and we'll uh, see how that fan shroud fits. All right, so we definitely have clearance, which is nice. It's sort of hard to see, but for the sake of completeness, you know, I could actually get my hand up there and I have more than a, more than really a, a fingertip room right on the corner here, which is nice. And I'm trying to get a, a video showing you the room. I have no idea if I'm getting this in focus. But anyway, uh, the final segue will be uh, looking at the nose on the car and a couple other observations. All right, well, I think we'll call it a wrap for this video. A uh, couple closing comments here. I mean, the whole point of getting the body on the car was to make sure we had enough room for the mocked up fan shroud and, and that worked out perfectly. I'm going to take the uh, nose off next and, and get it up onto the platform. Uh, the way it's designed, I can keep the whole body on the platform or just the nose and the or the front clam and the rear clam on the platform, so that works out well. I'm going to leave the spider on the car because I need to mock up some other components here. So back here, I'm going to put the heat exchanger or supercharger intercooler. In this area, there's a, there's a vent that will feed cool air to the intercooler. There'll be one on this side and then one on that side as well. In this area, I've got to decide what size dry sump oil tank I'm going to put. And then uh, sort of in that area there, I have to figure out how I'm going to feed the, the intake 
you know, the uh, engine intake. It, it's a four inch round tube and it's pretty cramped uh, area there. Let's see, the other thing is, you know, the wheels in general fit really good on the car. Now, this is with zero toe. Well, actually there's a little toe out now because I was shifting it around, but it's zero camber and clearly those tires are too wide. Now, I was messing around with the camber on this side just to see if I can get these tires to, to fit. And, you know, they're just a little too wide. I just don't, I just don't, don't like the setup. And I have this set at a 1.5 degree negative camber, which is about as much camber as you want to run on the street. So uh, I made some calls. I've got some great feedback from folks on the forum. And it just turns out that you know, these tires, that they, they just, you know, they're on the rim, but they stick out on the rim a half an inch. And, and actually, the, the issue came from the spec on Michelin's website. They say this tire is 11.4 inches wide, which would have worked perfectly. But in fact, this tire is 12.4 inches wide. Uh, whereas the rear tires, uh, they meet the spec on the website, and you can see the the walls are nice and flat. So the good news is uh, Michelin has a total customer satisfaction guarantee. I spoke to the retail shop I bought the tires from and they're taking them back uh, free of charge and they're shipping me new tires. So in the next video, we'll see the new tires mounted and, and they should uh, look better. They should tuck right under the top, the top of the uh, fender. Okay, so all in all, it was an exciting day on the build. Thanks for watching and take care.